Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix and happy Pokemon Day. Uh, basically today is the, well, <laughs> the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. So yeah, if you guys have not checked out all the really brand new release news regarding the new Diamond and Pearl Remix, and of course the brand new game, um, Pokemon Legends Arceus, uh, that's pretty cool, go check it out on the official Pokemon YouTube channel. You can watch through the whole, um, I guess, the Pokemon Direct, if you want to call it by that. <laughs> Guys, let's take a look at what they actually have installed for us in Pokemon Cafe Mix. Um, from the last that we read you know, in the notifications, we are getting a whole bunch of gold acorns. And of course, a repeat appearance of... Yeah, there we go, we've got Celebi! So, as usual, the story here is, you know, just the repetitive stuff and Celebi appears, you know, for the brand new players and of course for the returning ones, we are getting to our chance to power up Celebi just like all the other repeat events for all the other different Pokemon. Alright, so maybe it traveled through time to come here. Well, he, I guess he's excited to see us again. <laughs> so yeah, it's nice to see Celebi around one more time. You don't really get to see legendary Pokemon appear in Pokemon Cafe Mix very often, but you know. There we go. So we've got until the 10th of March um, to befriend Celebi. If those of you are brand new to Pokemon Cafe Mix, this is your chance to get your friendly neighborhood time traveling Pokemon. <laughs> and of course, for those of us who've already recruited Celebi in our cafe, it's our chance to power him up so like i said in the last video um you know a lot of people don't really play repeated events especially for those of us who are continuously playing but we try we try to play daily um for those um you know acorn rewards and of course mainly just to clear the party invites and all of that stuff so last event was snorlax and yes as you can tell later um, the team here didn't really do much, so we didn't get a lot of rewards as well. So let's take a look at the notifications. A special customer has returned. So yeah, we know that by now. And of course, new orders are available. So starting from today onwards on the 24th, basically, um, you know, the orders, like they mentioned in the last update, have re been reduced from 50 to 30 orders every time an update happens, which is good for me, um, because I can't really keep up with 50 orders every time an update happens and you know every time when I release a brand new episode for Pokemon Cafe Mix. Uh, due to the views of the videos, it's hard to keep on producing more content like this because it just doesn't help with the channel's you know, stats. Uh, but yeah, celebrating Pokemon Day, February 27th, yep, today is the 27th that I'm recording this video on. Um, it's to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. So offering 2,500 golden acorns to celebrate uh, with Pokemon. So how to receive your acorns? All you have to do is just log into the game during the time frame. So from the 26th, which is yesterday uh, of February, all the way to the 1st of March. So technically we've only got a few days left before this wonderful reward disappears. So hopefully you guys have logged in. Um, I've been playing Pokemon Cafe Mix regularly just like I do, so here I do have the rewards. I have not claimed it yet since yesterday, so I'm just showing you guys that the reward is under the presence column of the notification mailbox. So yeah, let's start things off as usual with our usual invites. So since both Pokemon have like yet to max level, so let's go with this team um, because I don't really want to refresh you know, the Pokemon invite list just cause, you know, I'm trying to hunt for Pokemon that have maybe not been recruited yet, but yeah. You know. Alright, so let's gather things around. Let's get the main Pokemon that is featured for our skill. Seems to be a bit more Jigglypuff now. So let's defrost all the stuff that we can defrost first. Because it's always important to set things free. Seems like there's a lot of Meowth now. 
Alright. So once things are set free, it will be a lot easier to get things done. So destroying a bit of the popcorns here. We need to get these mixed. Alright. Don't forget to collect eggs. And defrost more popcorn kernels. Hmm, there are a lot of meows on the board, so let's just make use of meow right now. The last few. Okay, let's just destroy the popcorn kernels the regular way this side. There we go. A lot of jigglypuffs. One more time. Okay. So we're just gonna use the skills to destroy all the acorns on the left side later. So let's power things up. And we do need to get that milk carton cleared, so that's gonna be a problem. So let's just try our best to get this mixed up. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> we messed up! Okay, so... Yeah, I'm gonna go with the 900 acorns because I just don't really want to spend too much time retrying the level. There we go. So let's just dig the Jigglypuff in and we are good. So yeah, for you guys, at least you guys get to retry the level without spending acorns. Uh, it's considering that it's the first invitational stage. If it's the second one, definitely the 900 acorns is a must if you're willing to... Uh, you know, just spend the amount to get that stars um, for clearing the stage. If not, you well, know, you can forego the second level and then just go on with the regular levels. Okay, so let's get a Minchino. This, this level isn't that difficult, it's just gotta be careful with the placements of the Pokemon icons. If you really want to get rid of all the strawberry cartons, uh, we do need to power up Minchino's skill. Um, you know, just to destroy all the weak crims in a long range destruction. Gotta cover that three lane goodness if we can. There we go, three lanes. Fantastic. So we just need to power up Minchino's skill one more time. Mm, maybe, maybe not. Alright, there we go. So. Apparently we didn't have to power up the skill, but we do need to get that score though. So let's gather as many of the icons as possible. So it seems like this this level, this particular stage requires a very precise amount of play. Because we just used up all the moves. Alright. Here you go. And Bulbasaur is at max level 3! Fantastic! It's gonna help us with the long duration use of the skill. Alright, so as you can tell on the screen, <laughs> apparently I am not on stage 541. I accidentally cleared 541 um, on a very, I would say, dizzy day. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize I was playing a regular stage, so guys, I'm sorry, I'm not able to show you guys stage 541, but you know, considering that Pokemon Cafe Mix isn't exactly a very tough game, uh, I'm sure you guys can handle stage 541 on your own. Um, you know, considering I think it was an introduction level, maybe, I don't know. If it wasn't, well, I apologize uh, deeply from my heart. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, accidents do happen. So let's start off with 542 on this particular episode. Um, I mean, we do have Wobbuffet's friendship bonus going on right there. And we do need Blossom's help. So let's do this. Hopefully we do get that wonderful burst of stars. Alright, so we do have Marshmallows frozen up in ice. So that's going to be a very big nuisance. Let's try and push up the, the leaves. Yeah, there we go, the basil leaf, there we go. And the frost marshmallows. Alright, so let's do this. Okay, so apparently the marshmallows in the inner sections need 
Blossom skill to set free. Yeah, so we do have to pay attention to um, the marshmallows because of the. Uh... Oh no, I missed out on one ice cube. What? Oh well, at least at least we get some decent help from the megaphones being summoned. Oh, I couldn't go all the way in. Okay, so we need the Blossom skill once more. Set free the last ice cube. Okay, no luck there with the help of the megaphones this time round. But that's fine. Okay, so we do need the score. So let's gather all the Blossom icons and destroy the last marshmallow and that's it! So it's not exactly a very difficult level. Um, just be careful of your placements of you know skills and icons that you are dragging along, and you should be fine. Definitely could have gotten a lot more acorns from clearing that level, uh, but we got careless. That's fine. All right, stage four, five hundred and forty-three. Can't believe we've been playing this game for so long now. I wonder how many episodes of Pokemon Cafe Mix I've released. <laughs> Probably should go check out the channel history. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Munchlax, here we go. This level is a bit tricky due to all the Meonis bubbles. Okay, definitely we want to try and set free all the items that's been locked up inside the bubbles, especially for the chocolate um, pieces. Alright, setting, destroying the fruit can so we get a bit more space here. Alright, there is that one Mayonnaise bubble that's like hanging at the top. That's a bit of a worry. Okay, it's a Charmander icon in there, so it's not such a big deal. So let's just go ahead and see what's inside this one. So not, not much of a big deal here. Okay, let's go ahead and destroy... The megaphone that's gonna destroy the chocolate and a fruit can. Okay, so we get some decent destruction right there, so we just have to pay attention to the chocolate pieces around here. Um, we can destroy them both with regular play. There we go. So, not such a difficult level as long as you don't mess up the placements of destruction and, of course, prioritizing certain items to be destroyed first to make room for more Pokemon icons, and we finally get Beware to join our crew! Look at this big cuddly pink thing that looks like a cosplayer. I don't know. <laughs> uh, considering his name Beware, I mean definitely his name in Japanese will not be the same in English, but you know, we consider that you know it's supposed to be someone inside a bear costume. Uh, he, ha he has kind of like a raccoon tail, and the ears kind of look like cosplay accessories. I don't know. Yeah. But considering his pre-evolved form is a tiny bear, um, <laughs> I think it's not a person in a costume, but still, the design, the design factor of BOS uh, overall look is definitely considering a cosplayer in a costume, I guess. Alright, let's go and mine them to please Minchino's cravings. Okay. Uh, we don't have a lot of Minum icons on the board, so let's just go slow path for now. Gotta be careful with um you know the olive oils olives. You gotta get rid of all the honeys first. Yeah, the honey is the most important thing right now. Okay, because we don't really want to get the honey coated in olive oils. There we go. Just get as many of the icons as possible. Okay, so if we can destroy... Yeah, there we go. Luckily enough, the olive did not get coated by the olive oil. And there goes all the honey. 
So now the only other thing is we have to get rid of the last two others, which can be destroyed by normal play. So there's no reason for me to use skills. Oh, why did you have to pop up fly? <laughs> oh, that's just horrible. Okay, we do need Minums though, so let's try to get Minums destroyed. Oh, I just realized- oh, thank goodness. I just realized we were on our last move. <laughs> oh god, thank goodness skill managed to destroy 10 Minum icons. If not, ooh, ooh, that would be a, a very wasted move. Whew, that was a lucky clear. Okay, moving along. Outland. Oh, we're, get, we're gonna get Blossom maxed out with this level stage cleared. Okay, um, this one doesn't seem that hard. Just gather all the Stoutlands. We do need to shuffle all these items along. Okay. Let's just move all the canisters over. Squirtle's turn. Oops. Gotta be careful. Okay. There we go. Now we just destroy a whole bunch of eggs. Yeah. Hopefully enough the megaphones placements will help us out. Okay. I think we're technically okay with the amount of eggs. So let's just do this without powering up Stoutland's skill. There we go. Okay, we do need megaphones. Maybe let's push the megaphones down and then just, you know, get use its skills to destroy a whole bunch of icons for the score achievement. And we are good. So we did end up using all the moves. Kind of a bit of a tricky level, just be careful on what you need to clear. And you know, don't waste moves. There we go, Blossom at level 3. Oh, bad. Good progression with this episode. Okay. Oh, another friendship bonus. I didn't expect another friendship bonus so soon. Alright. Sadly to say, it isn't a raid event, so... Kind of a waste. Okay. Let's go. Hmm, chestnuts. This is gonna be tricky. Okay, let's just get a, a whole bunch of veggies as well. Always go with Pokemon icons that has the most on the board. You know, sometimes we don't really need to focus too much on the main Pokemon icon. There we go, that's pretty good. Don't want to push the chestnuts out too far. We could have covered more vegetable crates though. Oh well, what's done is done. At least you guys can learn from my mistakes. Here we go. Gotta be careful when pulling out the icon skill icon. Let's destroy all the chestnuts first. We are only one veggie away from clearing the vegetable requirements, so that's pretty easy. Okay. We can use a skill to destroy the popcorn and a whole bunch of icons. And we are done! Wow! Okay, this is probably the best outcome for this level. Probably. I mean, if you ended up clearing it with more moves than me, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to see how many moves you have remaining. There we go, getting a gift from Munchalex as well. Not that we use them very often, but it's always nice to have, you know, standbys. Okay. Oh. This doesn't look good. Okay. Um, let's go ahead with EV icons first. Maybe let's just get rid of the whole bunch of caramels. There we go. We do need to clear the marshmallows with a skill so that the stuff can start flowing in. But I mean, we should technically go destroy like the whipped creams on this outer layer first 
because we don't really want to hassle with destroying the other items inside those non-reachable areas with skills that we should be saving up for <laughs> you know the marshmallows and all the other stuff here okay so let's gather another skill we do have a tiny whipped cream here that we need to destroy and with this we should technically be done but you know there is that score requirement as well oh and we are done so apparently a few icons like those was more than enough to fulfill that requirement fantastic moving along smoothly so far we've only had to use one batch of 900 acorns that's pretty good in my books considering the last few episodes have been really wasteful on the acorns <laughs> oh, gotta stock up on acorns once more i'm very appreciative of that 2500 acorn you know gift that to celebrate pokemon's 25th anniversary okay gotta be careful not to destroy the olives too near the canisters okay so we tr let's try to destroy this batch here without coating the pumpkins that's the main important point okay set free that last olive let's destroy the batch here and let's start saving up for more Meowth skill icons to destroy the pumpkins. There we go. We do need to fulfill that score requirement as well. Fantastic. Okay, so let's destroy the pumpkins first. And one more Meowth skill shall do the trick. So let's just get all the Meowth icons. So a very straightforward level. Not too much of a hassle. It's just that we're oh we actually need to use up all the moves because wow the score requirement though. Oh no. Can we actually meet the score requirement? And we do! Thank goodness. <laughs> Alright, so this is definitely one of those levels that you really need to pay attention to. Um, you know, destroy things with prioritization, I guess. Alright. Oh, Lucario. Oh, we're three stars away from its second level. That's such a bummer. If only they had a friendship bonus, but that's okay. Charmander. Oh my goodness, look at this level. This is such a mess. Okay, so we do have two canisters out here that needs missing mixing. So let's try. Let's try our best to push them in, but first let's clear this one. This one only requires one single skill. Okay, we do need to push them in though. Alright, so with that done, let's just try and move the canisters in. Yep, yep, yep. Move it in. There we go. Okay, so the bottom field definitely we need Charmander's skill to be powered up. So let's just gather the whole bunch here. Um, here we go. Okay, we try to go for a three lane disruption. Fantastic. So let's push things along. Alright, and maybe let's try and get this destroyed in the natural way because we do need that score requirement though. Fantastic. Okay, so we do have a problem here. One of the chocolate pieces is not going to destroy the normal way. Um, I don't know, can Charmander's skill cover this too? Yeah, apparently it can. So I'm trying not to move to let the skill auto-destroy in its own. Whew, because we are on the last move. Very risky level. Wow, back to back. Two levels that really require precise destructions of things. That's not good when it comes to saving up acorns. I got pretty lucky there. So hopefully you guys, um, you know, were able to handle them pretty smoothly. And finally, we get our first appearance of Celebi. <laughs> oh my goodness. And it's, I think it's on our last, last level for this episode. So, okay, let's do our best to service our little boy here. Okay, that did not sound right. I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> phrases just come out of my mouth without you know thinking of the context. But oh, times three bonus two stars. Uh, it's not the best, you know, but still pretty good. Hopefully, we don't have to waste nine hundred acorns just to satisfy the cravings of Celebi. Yes, I should definitely use the word cravings more often in my sentences in this family friendly game. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead with all the Pikachu icons. Okay, let's not use the skill yet. Um, okay, do we need to destroy... Um, I guess we could. Let's just destroy this, this the whole cheese selection here for even A tiny bit more space for icons to fall in. There we go. So we can get all the crates covered. Alright, we do need to clear the catch up. There we go. Let's get them more Pikachu icons. Make sure we cover as many strawberry crates as possible. Alright, so destroying the strawberry crate gives us more space for icons, which is always good. Okay, we, we are able to start shifting the, the basil leaves, you know, to the basket. Because we are running out of moves. Oh god. Oh god. We are going to have to use the 900 Econ Refresh. Oh, this is definitely one of those levels that is really, really annoying. There you go. Hopefully we don't have to go beyond that. Because it's very expensive to keep retrying. Oh boy. Oh boy, this does not look good. Okay, so let's try. Let's try our best. Can we? Can we? I don't know. Maybe we should just push the leaf down. Oh god, it popped up. Oh god. No. 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 <laughs> oh no. Why do these kind of things happen? Oh god, mechanics, the... Oh, look at that, we're gonna have to spend another thousand three I... Oh, the, the stars are just so tasty. It's so tasty. Oh my, oh, it's so expensive. Guys, why, do, do, do things like this happen to you when you play Pokemon Cafe Mix? Let me know in the comment section down below. How many times has it happened to you? you? You've seen me play the game and it has happened to me quite a few times. But, you know, definitely one of the more expensive moments of clearing a level. Um, even for my own personal account and on the Nintendo Switch. It's just, it's just unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Okay, let's just dump it in there. Oh god, that's so expensive. I think we just literally used up the 2,500 acorns that, you know, the, <laughs> the, that was given to us just this episode. Oh god, oh god. But look at all the tasty stars. Oh wow. Alright, okay. What's done is done. Let bygones be bygones. And we get a brand new pickle jar. Cool. So I guess... Ooh. Ooh, I don't... Oh. I don't remember seeing this order. I guess I don't really see it that often anymore in the Nintendo Switch account. But you know, it looks pretty good. And charcoal bun. I wonder what the the ears, the red part of the ears, are made of. Or are, are these spikes? I don't know. Sneasel. <laughs> All right. Anyways, pickle jar. So I guess next episode we're gonna start off with a tutorial level, so that at least 551 is gonna be an easy level. So yes guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. I, I sincerely apologize again that we missed out on uh, episode 5, uh, no, stage or order 541. Um, but yeah guys, what do you guys think of the brand new Pokemon games? Let me know in the comment section as well. Uh, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it yourself. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet or are brand new to the channel. Make sure you hit the bell notification icon as well. And until, get, until then guys, uh, have a great Pokemon day! Uh, especially for those of you who are playing Pokemon Go, 
uh, like myself, I'm just gonna spend a bit of time trying to catch all the Kanto Pokemon that's currently going on, uh, especially with the raids and all that, with all the region exclusive Kanto Pokemon appearing, you know, gotta, gotta, gotta catch them all. Until then guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!